everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to cover aphasia and it is a follow-up video based on my recent upload about strokes. So if you want to see that one first, go ahead and find the link in the description box. If you're just interested in aphasia, you're in the right place. So aphasia, I like to break down the terminology. So the Greek word aphatos is speechless. So when we think aphasia, we are thinking about different language disorders that are neurological and it causes difficulty with speech, writing, understanding language, depending on what kind it is. And typically this is a symptom of a stroke or a brain injury or some form of trauma to the brain. And I'm going to break down some of the most common language difficulties that arise and the types of aphasia. So let's go ahead and start with the global aphasia. And that one is the most severe out of all the kinds of aphasia. And it basically means that there is little to no spoken language ability anymore. I think that one's the easiest to remember because we think global and we think global impact that all of it entirely based on spoken language is impeded. And from there, I want to discuss anomic aphasia, which is above it. And I'm going in this order for a specific reason, so hopefully I'm not kind of confusing you guys, but anomic aphasia is when you have word finding difficulty. And if some of you guys can relate to me, I feel like I have anomic aphasia sometimes especially after a long day of working and communicating with a lot of different people, I start to kind of forget the word that I'm trying to pull out of my brain. It's like I have the word there and it's frustrating because I just can't get it out of my mouth. So with, pe with people who have anomic aphasia, they're going to experience a lot of frustration, especially when they're talking about certain nouns and verbs. And so the way that I remember this is the word nom, like N-O-M in there, I think of name, and A to mean without. So it's like you're having a hard time giving things a name or without a name, and um, that must be really frustrating. So there's anomic aphasia, word finding difficulty, and from there I'm going to jump down to the bottom where Broca's aphasia and Wernicke's aphasia is. And the reason I paired these together is because they are basically opposites. So Broca's aphasia is when you have slow, broken speech. And you may understand speech well, so if someone is talking to you and you have Broca's aphasia, you might understand everything that they're saying. But when it comes to actually trying to express yourself, it comes out very clumsy and it's very laborious and it's just it's just very slow and broken. So that's very frustrating for someone with Broca's. Um, and the way that I remember Broca's aphasia is the word bro and I think broken language and Broca's. So both have bro in it and that's for broken, slow speech. Moving on to Wernicke's aphasia, this is when you have impaired understanding or reception of heard speech. So it's the opposite of Broca's. Your speech is normal and it could sound fluent, but when you are trying to comprehend what someone is telling you, that's the challenging part. Uh, with that being said, I like to note that the speech, the person speaking when they have Wernicke's, even though it sounds like normal fluid speech, a lot of it kind of comes out like gibberish or jargon. Um, so there's a lot of meaningless and irrelevant words sort of tossed in there. So were is for don't understand words is how I try to remember it. So Wernicke's, the were, I think of words and how this person cannot understand the words that you are saying. Last but not least, I'm going to cover primary progressive aphasia or PPA. And I saw this um, on the aphasia website that I'll link below and I wanted to include it even though it's not necessarily stroke related. So this one is not brain or stroke brain injury related, but it is neuro 
degenerative. So for someone who has Alzheimer's disease, this is something, PPA is something that they can have where it causes a slow but progressive impairment of speech and language.